TVJ Productions presents video game coverage, montages, forge maps, gaming blogs, and whatever else sounds fun. Fuck, you now for this step you're going to want to create a cool title for your thing, whatever it is, a play, video, gaming thing, whatever. Most of the time people are looking for how to do something, so if it's a Ford video how to, or cool, or something retarded, put something in there that's really good. Step two for your video, dude. Alright, now that you've pulled the fans in with the cool name title and everything else like that, you're going to want to keep them interested. So don't have the video starting out all boring. You're going to want something cool and exciting right away. Oh my god, look, I can shoot lightning out of my fingers. Step three! So you got them drawn in. You're keeping them in your video because you got a cool entrance. But now what are you going to do? You want to keep them here. Alright, well just get something random that's in your video. Alright, I was in kindergarten, no one liked me because I farted too much. Step number four. Try to be short and quick, because no one wants to sit here for 20 minutes listening to you go, oh, blah, 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 blah. My video's about corn dogs. I like corn dogs. My video's over. Huh? I'm sorry to say, but this is the last step. Final step. Woo! Step five. Okay, so you attracted them with a cool title. They came in, watched the video because of your cool entrance. And everything else they kind of liked. And now you're at the ending. You're thinking, eh, why do I need to get... Why do I need something cool and important at the end? Well, I'll tell you why. The reason why you need something cool and important at the end is because is if you don't do something cool and important at the end, they won't come back. So make sure you do something cool and important that no one else does. <laughs> I'll believe it.